Hi there, Clive here again, uh, back with another review on a meal replacement, uh, drink, etc. Although what I'm doing today is a follow up on Bertrand, uh, which I reviewed uh, a little while ago. And I said I would try it for a period of time, a week, then come back and give you my, my thoughts. So a bit more than a, a, a tasting. So uh, I've been using Bertrand for the last couple of weeks now, mostly as a replacement meal for my lunch at work, uh, which is what I do with uh, most of the shakes that I get, the meal replacement and the ones that I like. Um, I'll use them at work as a way of substituting for, say, sandwiches and stuff like that. Um, and they work quite well. Um, and I've been very happy with them. This Bertrand has been uh, keeping me full. I've tried the baked apple and the bilberry uh, flavor uh, in the original one baked apple of course is my my favorite what i like about the bertrand is that um it's got the um it's got sort of walnut in it and you can taste the walnut bits uh here we are crunchy almonds and that's i really like the crunchy almond bits um and the texture that they they provide which sets them apart from the other meal replacement uh, drinks I have which can have a kind of a bit of a samey feel to it uh, some are much more of a fluffy texture which is quite nice but um, I like the texture of the the Bertrand with the uh, crunchy almond elements and what I've found is so in my reviews that I'm doing for for these usually what I do is I'll I'll use my Nutribullet to blitz the powder so I know that it's really really mixed and I've been doing it for for that but also uh, I've been using this at work and I'll come back to it why but I found that when I use this um, I get that crunchy almond texture uh, but if I blitz it in the Nutribullet um, it blitzes the little bits and so I don't really get that crunch which is um, not not as good so actually it's better to mix it in this and what I love about this bottle um, is that um, on the side here I don't know if you can see, but on the side here, it's got a line here, which is somewhere between 200 and 300, but it's not exactly in the middle. Now, I, met, I of course, initially assumed it was, uh, oh, that, that's the line for 250. Um, I'm not sure you're going to be able to see there. there. That's the line for 250. But you'll see it's slightly higher than where it should be. Because if you read closely, and you won't be able to see it, down the side, it says others and then there's another long line up here that says active and what this line is is the line that you should fill the powder to the exact line you need to fill the powder so you don't have to measure out you just fill it to this exact line and then you fill the rest of water i found about halfway up here is is best um give it a shake with the steel with the steel ball in it um and it does the job so in the morning, what I do is I fill this with a powder exactly to that mark. Um, stick this in the bag, uh, put the steel ball on top, uh, stick this into the, um, in my bag, and go to work. And then at work, um, as I say, I fill it with water up to there, give it a shake uh, and it's great. And uh, it's been keeping me satisfied from lunchtime through to my evening meal and it's absolutely fine. I've also found that uh, I sort of discovered that it kind of works much better and leaves that crunchy texture to it using this when I took it uh, camping um, and I did do a film of me using it on the uh, in the tent but unfortunately I deleted it by mistake but there is one of me on the beach uh, here you can see me here um, I made a little short video of me uh, mixing my lunch on the beach that's how easy um, it was um, so um, really great um, I love this bottle it does the uh, does the job really well uh, uh, and it makes uh, having this at work really easy and I've gone through the original I'm now on the the vegan I've not noticed a lot of difference to be honest um, I prefer the baked apple to the bilberry but the bilberry is really nice as well um, you sort of slightly citrusy fruity text uh, taste to it uh, but the baked apple um, is my fave and um, and as I said, if you, you know you want to see what it tastes like, then you should check out my other video. But it's got that kind of some milky texture and a milky taste to it, which I really like. I haven't uh, cracked on the active yet, which is double the protein and is more aimed at people who are sort of really take their fitness quite serious. 
uh, and you have to fill it up sort of twice as much so about to here so this is the original down here and then you fill the, the active up to up to that line there um, and as I say I've not tried uh, this one yet and I'm wondering whether I could use it and just fill it up to the same amount what fundamentally is the difference other than it's got extra protein in it and they want you to take more because you need more calories because you're exercising more so maybe you could just use this as the same as the original I'll have to ask Bertrand and I'll I'll ask the question and I'll let you um, I'll let you know what they they respond but anyway I've been loving the the Bertrand I've always liked the taste uh, but it's just interesting that the texture is best when you use the original shaker um, anyway I just thought I'd say a follow up um, I really you know like it I'm considering of using it more often than they say the Huel or at least mixing it with the Huel not mixing with the Huel but interchanging between the Huel uh, which is I think is a bit cheaper um, and this just so that I'm not always having Huel which um, although it's cheaper and I like the ingredients in Huel I just don't like the taste whereas um, the ingredients in this are pretty all from natural sources uh, I like the taste it's just a little bit more expensive um, anyway uh, I hope you appreciate that uh, this review and you, and you liked it and I said I'd follow up so you know, there you go um, quick shout out to everybody subscribed to the channel it's uh, going great and lots of different companies contact me asking me to kind of check out their new products and I'm finding new products if you see any products you think I ought to be trying and testing and comparing to the Bertrand and the Jake and the and the Huel and all of that then let me know put comments down below uh, I'll try to feed back to everybody who comments below if I can um, thanks for watching really appreciate it uh, and bye for now